Good morning. It is your boy Jay Goble back at it again for Not Many Noble, reading the Bible through in 22 in the World English Bible. A royalty free public domain translation based on the American Standard Version of 1901. And uh, what we're using to read the Bible through in chronological order. Started with Genesis, went to Job, went to Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. We're in Numbers now. Numbers 27. On today, March 8th, the 67th day of the year. So 67 days we have been reading together. Yeah. Prayer requests, as always, not many noble at gmail.com. Let's jump into Numbers 27. Then the daughters of Zelophehad, Zelophehad, <coughs> Zelophehad, Zelophehad, I don't know, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph came near. These are the names of the daughters. Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, Tirzah. They stood before Moses and Eleazar the priest and before the princes and all the congregation at the door of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against, uh, against Yahweh in the company of Korah, but he died in his own sins. He had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from among his family? Because he had no son. Give to us a possession among the brothers of our father. So our dad died. Like everybody did, died in a sin, and we want to have a possession like everybody else. And Moses brought their cause before Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying to the daughters of Zelophehad, Zelophehad, speak right. You surely, you shall surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers. You shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, if a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. If he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father has no brothers, then he shall give his inheritance to his kinsman who is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. This shall be a statute and ordinance for the children of Israel as Yahweh commanded Moses. Yahweh said to Moses, go up into this mountain of Abarim and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your brother as Aaron, your brother, was gathered. Because in the strife of the congregation, you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin to honor me as holy at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah, of Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin. Remember, Moses hit the rock instead of just speaking to it. Moses spoke to Yahweh, saying, Let Yahweh, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who may go out before them and who may come in before them and who may lead them out and who may bring them in, that the congregation of Yahweh may not be as sheep which have no shepherd. Yahweh said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and commission him in their sight. You shall give authority to him that all the congregation of the children of Israel may obey. He shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before Yahweh. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Israel with him, even all the congregation. Moses did as Yahweh commanded him. He took Joshua and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation. He laid his hands on him and commissioned him as Yahweh spoke to Moses. Yahweh spoke to Moses, chapter 28, saying, Command the children of Israel and tell them, See that you present my offering, my food and my offerings made by fire as a pleasant aroma to me in their due season. You shall tell them, This is the offering made by fire which you shall offer to Yahweh, male lambs a year old without defect, two day, two, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. You shall offer the one lamb in the morning, and you shall offer the other lamb at evening, with one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering mixed with the fourth part of a hint of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering which was ordained in Mount Sinai for a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Its drink offering shall be the fourth part of a hin of each lamb. You shall pour out a drink offering of strong drink to Yahweh in the holy place. The other lamb you shall offer at evening. As the meal offering of the morning, and as its drink offering, you shall offer it, an offering made by fire for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. On the Sabbath day, you shall offer two male lambs, a year old without defect, and two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour, 
for a meal offering mixed with oil, and its drink offering. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, in addition to the continual burnt offering and its drink offering. In the beginnings of your months, you shall offer a burnt offering to Yahweh, two young bulls, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without defect, and three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering mixed with oil for each bull and two-tenths parts of a fine flour for meal offering mixed with oil for the one ram and one-tenth part of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering to every lamb as a burnt offering of a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. The drink offerings shall be half a hen of wine for a bull, the third part of a hen for the ram, and the fourth part of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. Also, one male goat for a sin offering to Yahweh shall be offered in addition to the continual burnt offering and its drink offering. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, is Yahweh's Passover. On the fifteenth day of this month shall be a feast. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. In the first day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no regular work, but you shall offer an offering made by fire, a burnt offering to Yahweh. Two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. They shall be without defect. With their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil. You shall offer three-tenths for a bull and two-tenths for the ram. You shall offer one-tenth for every lamb of the seven lambs and one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you. You shall offer these in addition to the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a continual burnt offering. In this way, you shall offer daily for seven days the food of the offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. It shall be offered in addition to the continual burnt offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no regular work. Also, in the day of the first fruits, when you offer a new meal offering to Yahweh in your feast of weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no regular work, but you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. Two young bulls, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, and their meal offering. Fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths for each bull, two-tenths for the one ram, one-tenth for every lamb of the seven lambs, and one male goat to make atonement for you. Besides a continual burnt offering and its meal offering, you shall offer them and their drink offering. See that they are without defect. Numbers 29. In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no regular work. It is a day of blowing of trumpets to you. You shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, one young bull, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without defect, and their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths for the bull, two-tenths for the ram, and one-tenth for every lamb of the seven lambs, and one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you. In addition to the burnt offering of the new moon with its meal offering, and the continual burnt offering with its meal offering, and their drink offerings, according to their ordinance, for a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. On the tenth day of this month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall afflict your souls. You shall do no kind of work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to Yahweh for a pleasant aroma. One young bull, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, all without defect. And their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths for the bull, two-tenths for, one, for the one ram, and one-tenth for every lamb of the seven lambs. One male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the sin offering of atonement and the continual burnt offering and its meal offering and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no regular work. You shall keep a feast to Yahweh seven days. You shall offer a burnt offering, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. Thirteen young bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, all without defect and their meal offering. Fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths for every bowl of the thirteen bulls, two-tenths for every ram of the two rams, and one-tenth for every lamb of the fourteen lambs, and one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering and its meal offering. Oh, sorry, its meal offering and its drink offering. On the second day you shall offer twelve young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old without defect, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering, with its meal offering and their drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without defect, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering in addition to the continual burnt offering and its meal offering and its drink offering. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without defect. 
their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering, its meal offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without defect, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering, and its meal offering, and its drink offering. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without defect, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance. And one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering, its meal offering, and the drink offerings of it. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without defect, and their meal offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, in addition to the continual burnt offering, its meal offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day, you shall have a solemn assembly. You shall do no regular work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. One bull, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without defect, their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering in addition to the continual burnt offering, with its meal offering and its drink offering. You shall offer these to Yahweh in your set feasts, in addition to your vows and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings, your meal offerings, your drink offerings, and your peace offerings. Moses told the children of Israel according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses. Hi, ay ay Right? I know. Sometimes. You can see why, why some folks don't make it through. You know, you can see why some folks don't make it through. We're at 12 minutes, and I don't know if you tuned tuned out. Did you tune me out? Did you turn me off? Did you skip forward? Did you skip forward to the end? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, you know, sometimes sometimes it can be a little challenging to get through. That's why we're doing it together. That's why we're doing it together. So a uh, short day today. Let's, uh, let's pray. Let's pray. Boogie, let's go have a great day. We have a wonderful day. So let's pray. Uh, if you're driving, remember, eyes open, eyes on the road. Be attentive. Be attentive to what's going on around you. If you're not, that's fine. You can close your eyes. Not a big deal at all. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you for today and for your mercies and your kindness to us. Please continue to uh, teach us from your word. Pray that you would make things plain in your time, in due time, when, when we're ready. Um, there's a lot that we're reading, and I pray that we would not uh, grow weary while well-doing. Not grow weary from reading your word, from seeking your face, and from seeking to be fully devoted unto you. I pray that you would use this time to sharpen us, to hone our, our fine edge, and to refine our hearts, Lord. Also, I pray that you would please knit our hearts together in love and affection, one for another in unity uh, with our fellow believers. I pray that you would please send forth the gospel, specifically uh, in the Americas, North and South America, Central America, all the countries and nations uh, up and down the Americas, and also into the Pacific, the islands that are there in Oceania. Uh, I pray that you would please send forth the gospel in a very mighty, powerful way. Uh, in some lands that have seemingly forgotten, forgotten the gospel, I pray that uh, you would give us grace to return to God, and that you would send forth uh, an awakening of... of um, of spirit, of soul, that you would send forth laborers into the fields for the for the harvest is, is ripe, the harvest is plentiful. And Lord, we need you. We need you to uh, work. We need you to act. We need you to um, save sinners and to please give us words to speak. Um, mouths that would be willing to speak, Lord, um, to say the right words and to, to love people uh, enough to, to share the truth with them. And I pray for those listening and that you would please Give us grace for today to love you, to serve you, to be disciplined uh, in, in all our ways, and that we would be um, glorifying unto you, Lord. Please heal, strengthen our bodies for those who are sick and ailing among us. And Lord, would you give us grace to use our bodies for righteousness' sake um, and not for our own, our, own, our own passions and our own lusts, Lord. Pray that you would please do these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, squad, I appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging in there with me. Appreciate you listening. Uh, show notes, as always, notmanynoble.com. Prayer requests, notmanynoble at gmail.com. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook, though I haven't been on there much lately. I haven't been on social media much. Um, 
you can also hit me up on Twitter, JW Global Writer. And uh, I think these are all on YouTube as well. So, all right. I uh, appreciate you and have a wonderful day. Catch you tomorrow.